Capricorn. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So Capricorn, this is going to be your December, listen to December, February 2021 tarot reading. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, Capricorn, definitely watch your other signs. I'm using the Gilded for you. And um, those of you that were celebrating birthdays at the end here, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful birthday. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. February 2021. Perfect. Wow, the star, sign of Aquarius, which we are in. Page of Pentacles, typically is Capricorn card. I like it. Oh, Jesus. Three, three of Swords. King of Wands. Seven of Wands. The High Priestess. Three of Wands. Knight of Cups. Interesting. Okay, your overall energy for the month of February. Ooh, Queen of Wands reversed. She is pissed. Okay, Judgment. Capricorn, like, what the hell is going on here? This is a very, very, very interesting, interesting reading. Well, there's no doubt that some of you have definitely invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into something. It could be work. Those of you that have already invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into something, I think you're waiting to see growth. Some of you could be reevaluating re re a situation, looking at something closely, wondering if you want to invest any more time and effort into this. You know, do you want to, you know, continue? Do you want to, you know, wait on the seeds that you've already planted or do you want to walk away from it? Good Lord. Okay, the Nine of Swords. Stress, worry. Some of you definitely are losing some sleep over this. Some of you are definitely worrying whether or not you do want to continue to invest in this. You know, do you want to con you know continue to wait on this? Or do you want to walk away? Because of the two of pentacles here. You're definitely going back and forth. You're definitely trying to make a decision. And, you know, whether you're male or female with the Queen of Wands and Judgment, because you do have both here. Well, listen, with the Queen of Wands for, the, for, my, for my females, because we do have both of you both here,
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Definitely lacking creativity, passion, determination. Overly dramatic. Now, of course, you know, you're an earth sign. So, Capricorn, not all of you are going are gonna to be this way. But if you are, you could turn it around. There is no doubt that some of you are absolutely, or some or someone else is, is definitely a fire sign, is stressing. Stressing out, going back and forth, trying to make a decision. But yet, planning for the future, and I feel like someone's asking themselves an important question. You know, do I want to stay? Do I want to go? Do I want to continue to invest in something or someone? But you definitely could turn this energy around. Because clarifying that you do have judgment. You know, someone is definitely hearing it, seeing it, getting it. Taking some kind of action. You know, if someone's been putting a decision off. Okay, if someone's been putting a decision off and there's been like a lack of energy, a lack of of passion, with judgment here, you're going to start feeling inspired. For some of you, there could have been maybe a loss that you're dealing with, with the Three of Swords. But also with judgment, it is a healing energy. So healing from past difficulties, you could even be starting over in some way, in some way, shape, or form. But I absolutely see you being divinely guided to make important decisions, definitely. You know, your wish, the, your wishes, dreams, that's what you want to manifest with judgment, definitely needing to somehow let go of the past. Some of you, there is absolutely going to be a news, an offer, an opportunity that's coming in. This is definitely going to be an Aquarius season. Or it could actually be a fellow Aquarius with fire in their, in their chart that's communicating with you. Financial news. Something to do with the past, though, with judgment. I feel like someone definitely is communicating with you, with you know. And there could be a secret. But I feel like with the High Priestess and judgment and the star... I do feel like you are being spiritually guided and inspired to, because even on this deck, you, you, that's why I'm saying that. You, and, and there and there is a lot of spiritual energy under here because not only that, underneath this two of pentacles is the hermit. But very seldom do you do you get the star and the hermit. So you've been and you still are being spiritually guided and inspired to let go of the past. Get determined, passionate, inspired by just really simply just letting go of the past, moving forward. There's definitely communication. Definitely within the first week, if not already. You know, the Seven of Wands, this, someone's not backing down. They're not giving up. You know, someone that's not settling. It could be you. But I think it's this fire sign saying, you know, no to someone. I'm not settling. I'm not compromising. You know, you want what you want. 
letting go of the past. Pa even past hurts, and I say that because of this Three of Swords. You know, someone could have hurt, definitely could have hurt you, broke your heart. Some kind of loss. You do have two threes, so for some of you, there could have been a third party situation, like a love triangle, but it could also be something at work, something with maybe family, friends, it's a general reading. But there could be definitely a matter involving three people. With the King of Wands here, it definitely, definitely has something to do with a male, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then you also have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So you could be dealing with a younger water sign. So again, I mean, definitely someone could have hurt you. Maybe something even fell through. But definitely with Judgment and the Knight of Cups... Even feelings could have gotten hurt. Someone's heart got broken. And uh, most likely this fire sign male or water sign and Aquarius. But I'm definitely getting fire sign with water in their chart. And you do have a couple here with the king and the queen. And I definitely feel like some of you... It, 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 it is your energy, especially if, you, if you're male or female and have fire in your chart or are dealing with a fire sign, like their energy is lingering, you know, their heart definitely isn't healed, but it is in the process of healing. I definitely see growth with the three of wands, definitely, but you're definitely going to need to be patient. And if a relationship is healing, you're going to need to work on that, especially those of you that are partnered in a serious relationship. You're going to need to be patient with your partner or spouse. Also with judgment in the Knight of Cups, I definitely feel and see a very heartfelt apology coming in for you. You could be doing this. Some of you it could be after you or someone else, you know, is standing their ground. You know, whatever it's, whatever, you know, and whether it's you or someone else, someone is definitely standing their ground. For some of you, a secret is definitely, definitely coming to light. Definitely. And then news is coming in. If this is not love, with a partner. It could be work-related. It could be something with a friend, family member. I mean, it's a general reading. Three people involved. But I definitely see a lot of communication coming through. I will say this. This is a very interesting reading. Very interesting. This is the after tarot. Right, let's see. Let me see this three of swords. So the after tarot is what comes next, usually. This person might actually have some regret. Because they're looking right, right at it. Three of Swords, Capricorn. Let's see. That jumped right out. Wow. Three of Pentacles. Unbelievable. Some of you, it is definitely work, and some of you, it is definitely love. And if, listen, if this is a three-party situation that you don't know about, they don't know about. That 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 is definitely coming out. I mean, you got. <laughs> Wasn't that under here? The Two of Pentacles. And that's on the Three of Swords. Three of Wands, that's too many threes. 
What is this secret? The High Priestess. Interesting. As soon as I mentioned that, this Queen of Wands fell out, but I really wasn't ready, so you would have her twice. High Priestess. Well, whatever it is, gonna it's definitely going to make somebody emotionally very, very happy. Content. And I think it's definitely, if, if you're a female with fire in your chart, I'm going to get one more card. Oh, that's going to be the one. These are only red. Look at that. You are going to need to be patient. Oh, I can't even make this shit up. This is either you're dealing with an Aquarius as well. Be patient. Oh, definitely getting your wishes and dreams come true. I mean, this happens a lot. Um, not with the star, though. And you do need to just really be patient. And <laughs> the Nine of Cups, you have both wish cards here in this deck. <laughs> what is it? Capricorn, this is a great reading. Really? Just be patient. If you're, in, you know, in a fiery, if you're like this right now, just, you could do it. You could do it. Because the reward is going to be so much greater than you just being all fired up. Not in a nice way. But there is definitely healing with this. And with you coming out again, I think I, it, it really, whether you're male or female, because you're both here, you're, you're finding out a big secret. That something big is definitely coming to light. Whether you give it or them a second chance is really totally up to you. All right, Capricorn. If it didn't right, resonate, watch your other signs, definitely. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you back here soon with your love month, please.